welcome, welcome. This is the Beyond Take Two podcast brought to you by Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. I'm your host, Madge. And I'm your host, Veronica. And today we have a special, 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 special guest in the building with us. Um, this woman is an actress extraordinaire uh, producer. Yes. A mm-hmm. writer. writer. Um, she 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 wears many hats. Yes. Um, fresh up off her ABFF uh, festival um, for her short June's Crown. Was it a short or a feature? It was a short. June's Crown. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Um, the great Shamika Wright is in the building. Everybody. Yes. Hey. Gotta clap for yourself. <laughs> yeah. How are you, Shamika? I am very well. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Um, we're going to get into all things Shamika, right? Uh, but first, we have our Buttered Up segment. Mm. Now, this is episode 25, so we had to get some really good popcorn because Veronica has been getting terrible popcorn. So today we have Such Garrett's. Hater. Such a hater mash. This is my favorite popcorn, so I'm already going to give it a 10. But um, Shamika, you have the honors. Grab the bucket. You know, pour it in a bowl and do your thing. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's different. It's levels to this. Ooh, mm-hmm. that cheese, though, looks real. You know, I really love the fact that it coordinates with my outfit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> It does coordinate with you. Do I get to? Yes, you get you get I the get first, first pick. Yep. Okay, we need we need a little dab of bowl. And this is what Garrett popcorn. Garrett's Garrett. popcorn. This is the Chicago mix. Okay, okay. shout caramel. out to Chicago. Cheese and caramel. Okay, we're doing the caramel first. Give you a little ASMR. Mm. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hold on. <laughs> I'm supposed to share. Yes. <laughs> you don't look, have to though. Look. I don't need any more popcorn. <laughs> you know what? I like I like the the flavor mix. You good? Yeah, you, you get a sweet and a salty. Mm-hmm. Mm. How's the cheese? It's cheesing. Cheesing? Yeah. Okay. It okay. feels like a cheese it. Yeah. A cheese it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's really cheesy. Yeah, there. try try it together. Try it. Get both of them and put them in your mouth together. Yeah. All, right. yeah. all right, we're doing Ooh. Sorry. It's all good. Okay. All right, we're gonna do it together. You see this? Okay. <laughs> see now, one kernel went on each side of my mouth. Mm. And then we're gonna bring it together. <laughs> At the tongue. I'm gonna do it that way too. <laughs> yeah, just, just stick one on each side, <laughs> and then just bring it in. Just savor the moment. Savor, savor the, the moment. moment. <laughs> yes. That's it. We're here for it. Yes. On a scale of one to ten, what do you give it? Mm, I'll give it an eight. Ooh, so it's not the best popcorn. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shamika, you ain't had better popcorn than that. I you know why? You. Well, I'm biased because I like white cheddar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, I, I like white cheddar. I love white. That's cheddar That's my too. favorite. It's your favorite. Okay. That's my, so you know, I might that might not be fair. Right. Yeah. So this is an eight <laughs> because I already have a favorite. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. if you whipped some white cheddar out here, right, right. Mm, white cheddar with caramel, that'd probably be yes. Too. We haven't had that one. We haven't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, when you get it, send me some. This is cheesy. I'm That's gonna send you. I know it's cheesy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. See, I told you, like, you gotta stick it and then you. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do you eat popcorn? I do. That's, gonna, that's my favorite popcorn. Are right you gonna there. get some or? No, no. no. I mean, I'm gonna us... just take the bin. Oh. Mm. He, Veronica gonna... gonna eat the whole bowl. I, I already know how she is. There. Mm. I give it a ten. Yeah, you better give it a ten. I was gonna <laughs> cut your throat. You didn't give it a ten. Not violence over popcorn. Yes, yes. <laughs> we get real violent over here over our popcorn. Over our popcorn. <laughs> this shit is fire. Garrett's, thank you, thank you, okay. thank you one, much. One more. There you Shout go, out Mash. to Garrett's Sorry, popcorn. Mash. Oh, no, 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 I don't need any, yeah, but I'm going to take yeah, some anyway. Do. Yeah. You ne- never pass up an opportunity mm-hmm. on something you love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is fire. I'm taking that home. 
No, you're not. Shamika can take it home. No, nobody. <laughs> Being <thinking> greedy. <laughs> nobody taking that home except me. I don't think Hansel and Gretel needs that. <laughs> right, this is true. Do you know who Hansel and Gretel are? Oh yeah. Um, the kids. Uh, no, who are you talking about? My thighs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those kids. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> that's where everything goes. Okay. <laughs> so, me and the kids were together for life. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel doesn't. Stop, Mash. Mash was like, he's like, the uh, the, yeah, they're the kids. Are I'm like uh, the 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 the, nope. the the nursery rhyme, right? The little story. <laughs> Absolutely not. I get people with that all the time. It was like my like, Hansel and Gretel don't need it. Who are they? Boop boop. You know who they are. That is funny, <laughs> man. You know where your food goes. Everybody knows, yes. like where your yeah, food goes yeah. On that's, true. that's true. That's true. That's okay. true. Not my favorite places. It, there you go. So mm. I just named mine. You got to embrace it. <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> yeah, gotta love yourself. Shamika, um, where are you from, and how did you get in the film? Okay, so I am originally from New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. Ooh. And I started um, acting in 2003 when I had went to the New York Film Academy. Okay. Huh? So I had did this summer program. Um, it was a an all-inclusive summer program. It was acting, directing. It was just like everything. How old were you? I was. Chow. How old was I? So 20 years ago. I was 26. Mm-hmm. I was trying to say, yes, I'm a gorgeous 46 year old. Yeah, you do not look like that. <laughs> like, you need to say that. You just say that to the camera. Girl, you look like you're in your 20s still. So yeah, so I was I was 26, and you know what? When I went, I thought I was old. Mm. Oh, like too old to act. Yeah, because yeah. because that was me just starting. Right. At 26. Now, it was something that I had always wanted to do. Right. Too. Bless you, That cheese from the popcorn. Please. <laughs> it was something that I always wanted to do, but just growing up, I knew it was going to be something that I was going to have to pursue on yeah. my own. Yeah. So, by the time that I got now, to Now, why house, is that? Um, because I didn't, I didn't grow up in a home that really was like, you know, we're here to support your dreams. Right. <laughs> you know, it was, it was one of those things where you're going to grow up, you're going to graduate from high school. Mm-hmm. You may or may not go to college, mm-hmm. but you need to find a job, get a job, keep a job. Right. right. Basically right. retire from a job and life is over. It's like, right, there has right. got to be more to life yeah. than this. <laughs> right, right. So, exactly. so it's like, so I knew that the dreams that I had, I was going to have to pursue them myself. By yeah. yeah. So then by the time that I had gotten around to it. Because then life started happening. Right. Uh, by the time that I got around to it, I was 26. And I saw that they had a summer program. And so it was like a 12-week program. And that was how I jumped feet first in. Oh. Wow. Scared to death. So I was working a full-time job. Mm-hmm. Um, I would do my full-time job. And I would take the train over in New York. And I would do classes at night. And so sometimes I wouldn't get home until about 1 in the oh morning. Goodness. And then I'd pop back up at 6 and go to my full-time job. Oh, wow. What so, kind of work wow. are you doing? It's the kind of work that I'm still doing. I still, I am a business IT consultant. That's oh, okay. insurance company, And I have been for 24 years. Oh, my oh wow. So it's the same. I'm in the same company, different yeah. job. Okay. But it has afforded me to be able to pursue this career. This for career. Acting. So, yeah. Do you, so work, I, do you work remotely? Yes. I've been Amazing. home um, this year makes 12 years. Wow. I've been working for so when COVID for happened, you, girl. Look, so when COVID happened, I was like, "You guys will be fine." Yeah, <laughs> I had I'm her, good. I'm like, "You're <laughs> gonna be fine." Right. I'm doing this for years. Yeah, and you? then yeah. and it also helped too because then when I was ready to move mm-hmm. from Connecticut to California, mm-hmm. I was able to just take my job with me. Nice. That's amazing. Nice. So nice. yeah, so that's how it started. Wow. Okay. That's how it started. Okay. Yeah. So after graduating from this program, mm-hmm. um, what was next for you? Um, I started, uh, I looked for a, a local, like, acting school, mm-hmm. and I did, I found one, and it was called the uh, Actors Gym in Hamden, Connecticut. Nice. So I would do um, little workshops there, and through there is where I had started to meet casting directors, and I would meet, like, agents, because they would come in, and they would do, like, little workshops mm, and stuff. Nice. So... As a result of going there, I ended up meeting a casting director who locally she was doing uh, training videos okay. for uh, corporate. Okay. And so that was how I had transitioned into actually getting in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. I would do like background things, but because at the time I was still scared. You wouldn't right. believe it, but I was scared. <laughs> 
I was scared. Um, but I was like, I'm going to go on set. I'm going to do it. What were you afraid of? I was afraid of speaking, mm. you know, and mm. because I like I have such a piercing type voice, you know, and it can screech. It can, <laughs> it can go. And I wasn't, I didn't like my own voice. Mm. So I was like, dang, you know, I, love your right. I don't want, and I do too now. I think we're our own worst critics. That's Absolutely. So I didn't want to talk for that reason. And then also too, I was battling with, um, people not supporting, mm. you know, because, uh, for my structure of what I grew up, like it wasn't, acting wasn't considered to be a real job. Right. Mm. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And so it was like, I really was going out on all the limbs right. to do this on my own. And I was being my biggest fan, right? you know, and it had to, it had to build up to the family and the right, friends, right. And, right. you know, it had to build up to people being like, okay, no, it's a thing. It's a real right. thing. Right. right. And so I think that that contributed to me being afraid to like really speak, not because I've ever been shy. Yeah. Right. That's never been a thing. That was my next question. Like, were you shy? But no, you're like, child, no. <laughs> I'm like, what you want to do? You want to jump and dance on the table? Let's get it. I am not. I'm yeah. not shy. Yeah. But I just think that it was building up that confidence mm -hmm. to know that, you know, I was going to have to believe in it first, like right. wholeheartedly before anyone else was going to jump on that bandwagon and be like, oh, she's serious. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So I think that contributed to me not being able to speak you yeah. know, wanting to speak. speak in front of the camera. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. the beginning of everything I did was background. I did a lot of background. And so the first background film that I was in was College Road Trip with Martin Lawrence and Raven Simone because they wow. had filmed in Connecticut. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, okay, I could do this. Yeah. And so I was like, look, I was a student. I was like, a, <laughs> I was like a 30 year old student, but you wouldn't know yeah. because I must have looked like a teenager right. then too if I looked like I'm in my 20s. Right now, uh, right? Yes, right. for good genes. <laughs> yes. Come on, DNA with your best. <laughs> I know that black don't crack. Okay, yep. when, black. when you live exactly. in right, when you live in right, it don't, it won't. It'll yeah. hold on. It'll yeah. hold on for you. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I just hope it's just a good representation that you know I'm living a good life and in my truth. Right. And I'm okay. like, I'm like, that's what you see. Yeah. That's that light that you see. Right. Yeah. So right. from there, um, I, I was like, okay, I had to build up the nerve, you know. So I was doing, I did background with that. I, um, let me see, I did a couple of shows. And uh, let me see, I did Luke Cage. You did I Luke did, Cage? Mm -hmm. I love Luke Cage. Mm -hmm. You did background with Luke Cage? Yeah, I oh did. Oh, my God. I did, it was like a few shows because I, yeah. I was going to New York a lot. I spent a okay. lot of time. You know, because Connecticut and New York are yeah, right, right next, next door. door. Yeah. Right. And we could easily get on our Metro North train. Mm -hmm. And you spend more time over there because Connecticut's this big. Right. You know, and so when, when I moved here to California, like, first thing people are like, you're from New York. I'm yeah. like, well, I'm in the middle. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like I'm between Brooklyn and Boston. So sometimes an accent comes in. You know what I'm saying. Co <laughs> you say coffee? I say coffee. <laughs> I do. I say coffee, and in the morning, I like my soft bake. You know, Ooh, I love it. I love soft that accent. Bake. What's a soft bake? It's a, it's a, um, a little uh, energy bread bar, but it's Ooh. soft. And, um, it's mm. banana flavor, and that I think it's by. Awesome. Look, this is not an advertisement, but it's by <laughs> Velveeta, and I like it yeah. and everything. So that's soft like, bake. Yes, yeah, so I'd be like, I need my coffee and my soft bake. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that accent. So, so yes, yeah, so I'd be like, no. I'm like, no. I'm actually from the proper. Of Connecticut, <laughs> right? But I can turn on my New York if I have. To. How, how, how was uh, Girl. <laughs> how was New Haven different from like New York? Like going back and forth. Like what was the difference between the two? Mm. Well, the, the New York is really city life. Mm. Yeah. To me, uh, New Haven primarily is Yale. You know, Yale yeah. University. Okay, yeah. Okay. So it, it was starting its transition into being more of a student town got it. even though you know it did have you know they got things going on but it's more of a student town which right. they you know because Yale pretty much bought it up <laughs> right um right. but <laughs> so you know they were gonna do it or what they want right. um but New York is is you know city life lights right, action right. Mm. New Haven is I wish we were city life right, right. 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 kind of thing but yeah, when I went back home, because um, I go back home every summer, okay. um, because my son goes to spend the summer with his dad, okay, and so it gives me a chance to see my family. Wait, so you have a child? I have a son. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm a mom. You're a mommy. Yeah, 
he's 14 now. Oh, oh nice. So when we went, look, when we packed up life, it was me and him. Oh, my goodness. And yeah. You do, it's just you and your boy. It's just me and my boy. I love it. Yeah. So when did you decide to come to L.A.? I had plans on coming when I was like 19. Okay. Okay. So it was it was like 18, 19. I always knew that I had wanted to move. That was never yeah. like a thing. Right. But then, you know, life happened. So when I say life happened, that means, you know, I went and fell in love. <laughs> of course you did. Of we course all I mean, look, of course I did. <laughs> I went and I fell in love and I got married and I bought a house and, I, you know, right. yeah. the whole thing. Big and fence that, yeah, thing. Yeah. And then I kind of got stuck in what society says that life should be. Right. And I kind of was getting, that's why I was like, life happened. Right. And I kind of was getting away from who it was that mm-hmm. I was. Even though, you know, at the time, my ex, um, he had always knew that, you know, I had wanted to move. And so it wasn't a thing, but it was like, we just kind of fell into the mundane of what right, society right. says life right. is supposed to be like when you're an adult. Right. So when I woke up from yeah. the coma, Mm. I was like, hello, I'm not doing what I'm meant to do because right. I wasn't fulfilled. Yeah. I wasn't happy mm. and stuff like that. So once um, I, I this year makes, I want to say seven years that I've been divorced Okay, mm. okay. this year. And I really feel like I picked my life back up where I left off. Wow. But now I'm just doing it with my boy. Wow. Mm. So do you and um, your ex have a good relationship? Oh, yes. Good. Mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. We have a very good relationship. Um. He usually would bring him home. I like I bring him out there to him, and he'll bring him home. Nice. you know, for the summer. So yeah. So he's still in uh, Connecticut. Yes, he's still in Connecticut. Okay. Mm-hmm. And your family, your whole family in Connecticut too. In Connecticut. So that's like cool because it's like you get to drop it off works your out. son. And then yeah, and then like if he parents. if he needs if he needs support, like he has my whole family because I'm one I of eight that. kids. Oh my so goodness. I'm not even from a small family, right? <laughs> like not even. I in love the, that in the least. Like I. Um, if my numbers are right, excuse me, family, if I have this wrong, but if my numbers are right, I am an aunt, um, 13 times and a great aunt seven times. Oh my goodness. So yes. That is beautiful. So then to pick up and then it's just him and I here. I I say that all the time when people observe, it's like, oh, they just think it's just you and your son. I'm like, oh no, I come from a village. We do. We, we, we we real deep. And if, (laughs) and if I call, they come. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, so don't think it's I mean, it takes a village too. Yeah. 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 That's a blessing. So yeah. You have your family. Yeah. So when um, you was the reason like you want you coming to LA was that part of the reason why you got divorced or no no we grew apart like oh, okay, the, okay. the bottom line so it was like a like, mutual thing no oh. you were like no girl it was me I wanted. <laughs> I did that. He still wanted to hang on. No, I'm just kidding. I, I did that. I don't know what I don't know what he wanted. I don't know what he wanted. Yeah. But um no, I did that. Yeah. Um it just it had just ran its course. Right. Because at that point we had been together sixteen years. Mm. And so it was like I was when I say I want to say I was like mm, twenty two, yeah. give or take, and yeah. he was around like twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah. And you were young. Yeah. You were yeah, so we young. were young. And yeah. so then once we, you know, started growing, we just didn't grow upward together. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It kind of, look, and I went like that. <laughs> it, yeah. It kind of went like that. Yeah. So no, that wasn't, that wasn't a thing. It was a hard pill to swallow mm-hmm. though yeah. for him once, yeah. once after I was like, okay, well, we're moving. Yeah. And you know, that took a little bit oh, of an, damn. yeah, that took adjustment. a little bit of an adjustment, mm-hmm. but you know. He did good. Good. I'll, I'll give him credit. Good. <laughs> he did. He did good. Good. Mm-hmm. Good to know. So after coming to LA, um, mm-hmm. what was life like, like trying to pursue um, your acting career? We get here. I'm not even here eight months and we went in COVID. Oh, damn. Right. Oh, okay. So I've only been here four years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I've only been here four years. So the majority of my career happened between jobs that I had in um, New York, some I had in Massachusetts, and then um, uh, Jersey. Mm -hmm. And let me see. uh, And I traveled, like, down south, but it was a result of me getting jobs just in that area. Right. Um, But I had not been out here. I had came out here to visit mm-hmm. to make sure this was where I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. 
And um, one of my best friends, her mom is a real estate agent. So she told me the best place to be that had a good school system. Because mm. I knew that LA school system did not have the best reputation. Right. Right. So I was like, I need to be able to be in an area that has the closest school system mm -hmm. without being in LA. And so exactly. she helped me find nice. a space. So my son's education drove our location. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that drove you to the OC. And that drove me to the OC. And then I can easily get in within an hour. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. In and out for the most part. The out is I love the, the hardest. OC. Yeah. It's close to me. Yeah. I'm in Claremont. Oh, okay. I mean, they're yeah. not close, but like the freeway, it's everything. Right is there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. Good schools. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, so yeah. So once uh, once <laughs> everything started to. To open back up. I'm sorry, this popcorn is so Okay, get I'm it. Yeah, get well, it. I want to get stuck in that. Get it while I take the swig. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, once everything started um, open back up, when I had got out here, which is way <clears> interesting, <throat> so I'll just back up. Before we had left, my son was an actor, too. Oh, okay. So, he had an agent um, in New York, and so when we moved out here, he was 10. Yeah. And I had said to him, I was like, oh, you know, dude, do you want to keep it up? Because he had started it when he was five. And it was just as a result of him seeing me on TV in a commercial. Okay. You know, so he's, oh, you know, he's like, he's like four years old. Aww. Right. And he's like, oh, mommy, I want to try that acting. That was pretty, that was, <laughs> that's exactly how it was. He was looking up at the TV. He was like, yeah. mommy, I want to try that acting. Right. That's what he right. would call it. And I was right. like, eh. so you know how kids say things and you ignore them? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, did that. Because yeah. I was like, they just... I'm like, I don't know if he really wants to do it or right. if he just want to do it because he saw mommy do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. whatever. So I ignored him. Yeah. Like, uh -huh, she was okay. full transparency. I was like, yep, and just kept going about my life. And oh, then. Cold <laughs> blood. <laughs> it was, look, it was wrong. But I did it. I own it, and I'm good with it. So yeah. I was yeah. like, okay. Um, then it was like he had sold me in another commercial. And then, you know, he came back. He's like, mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. Okay, so then uh, this agent that I had knew, I was on their email distribution, and it just so happened that around the time that he that he said that, I had gotten an email that they were opening up a child division, mm. and so and they were looking for talent. I was like, well, <laughs> now's your chance. This must be a sign. So <laughs> I called him, and I was like, well, my son is interested in that acting, so yeah. let's see what happens. Wow. So that was how he ends up getting an agent, and so his very first gig, he did it with me. Wow. I, it was um it was a, a mom son deal, and then from there, him and I we did um two Huggies commercials together. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, yeah, it's like you look at him now, you, you'd be like, that is not the same. I'm like, yeah, now I got a man. Yeah, but he was so cute. Oh my goodness! He was just I just eat his face. Time flies. Yeah, it just does. And now he, he's like, mom. I'm like, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> It's not the little small it's little not, voice anymore. It's not. It's and my like, girlfriend come over. The, right. The first the first time he started the first time with his deep voice, I'm like, don't talk to me like that. What are you talking to? Mom, what? I don't talk like that. I don't sound like that. You do. Why are you talking to me like that? Watch your tone. Yes, he didn't he didn't even do anything wrong. It's just his voice got yeah. deeper. I'm like, watch right. your tone. Who do you think you that talking to? Down in your voice. You that bass down your voice. I'm like Oh. Some authority around here. You what the heck? I, I, I got big boys too. I got oh, an eighteen-year-old and a fifteen-year-old. Yeah. You were just, you were still yeah. saying this like you be, you be looking around like I am still the adult around yeah. here. Don't be talking Don't like talk that. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you know what I mean? Because it's like it kind of hits you in your gut. Yeah, a it does bit. out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so he, so he ends up doing that. He did a couple things in. Um, he did an episode um, in seven seconds with the, it was on Netflix. Oh yeah, with, well, uh, Regina, Regina. Okay, Regina King. Yeah, Not with Regina King. Yep, he did. He ended up doing oh an episode that he was the he was the the young son to I forget what the character's name, but he was the guy that was in the wheelchair. He was I think he used to just sell drugs. Or whatever okay, yeah, yeah. Like, he was his youngest son. Oh, so okay. he had he did that, and then um, the the story. What's the what's the young man's name who? Um, in New York, he had in Bowery, Maori, what was it? He had ends up, um, he was like a teenager and they end up sending him the Rutgers and he ended up um, committing suicide. Oh, having, yeah. You know who I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about. You know about. I'm talking I about. Remember the name. Well, they had did, um, they had did like a, a documentary kind of okay. thing with that. And so he, he was, he ended up being one of the foster kids that okay. was in 
that movie series. I think it was mm. a series, series as well, too. So he did, wow. he did, a, he did a few things. Mm -hmm. And so then when we were moving out here, I'm like, oh, so, you know, dude, do you want to do it? He's like, no. He didn't want to do it anymore. And it was okay because yeah. I never thought it was his thing anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, he just was fascinated because he saw mommy. Well, look at yeah. how he got TV. to be in certain things. That's yeah. like a cool opportunity. Yes. I'm, like, I'm like, he he did all that and bam, he he's sag algebra. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it's like two points. And he's like, no, it's fine. Like, and you know how many good. people want to be sag still? Yes. And he's like, it's like, fine, it's fine, it's good. Yeah. He, he, I got that off my chest. Yeah. Uh, Moving right along. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah, it just never was his thing. So then we got out here. Yeah. Then I just focused on uh, getting myself. You yeah, know, representation exactly. because he because they were going to find him someone for him. You know, to yeah. right. transition. Yeah, but I was like, no, he doesn't want to. So, so that, what is he doing now? Let me say, what is he doing now? Right now, well, before I came here, he told me he's chilling. Oh, <laughs> life's good. I mean, year olds. I mean, life is great. But little fourteen, us year coming old. out here has like, like. To me, he winning more than I am. Wow. For real, because he, okay, so he just graduated eighth grade, going to high school. Nice. He was eighth grade prom king. Oh, they my. Had a prom they had a prom? Eight. Yeah, they had like a little dance. Well, and, like, OC, they come on. I'm right? So he was like, <laughs> he was like, it was, so he was like, um, he, he got named king. Yeah. So I'm like, you're doing great. <laughs> like, how do you, we just got here, kid. Yeah. How are you the king of the school? <laughs> I'm like, so clearly. We got wow. personality. So I said to him, I was like, dude, I knew you were popular, but you didn't tell me you were po yeah. popular. I was like, because it's different. Pop, you popping that's popular. Different. Yeah. That I'm, is, like, I'm like, that's to, a whole nother level. To get a school to vote for you, it's not just popular. I'm like, bro, you are po popular. <laughs> There's levels to popularity. Oh, yeah, indeed. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you understand you're up there. What yeah. the heck? I'm like, you're talking about, oh, he's like, I'm popular. No, you're not. You're popular. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to say what it is. That is so true, right? So, and I mean, so you know, he's he's always um, loved education love and stuff like that. So, yeah. um, uh, he continued on with his honor status and nice. everything, and and then in uh, I want to say it was was the sixth grade. I went sixth grade. He got mm. the presidential award. Good for oh, wow. him. Yeah. Nice. So I want to meet this kid. You absolutely can meet. Him. His name is Jackson. How cute! Yes. Shout out to Jackson. Shout out to Jackson. Well, That's uh, my number one fan right there. We know about you well, already. Uh, high school. Is to. Uh, Brea Olinda. Brea Olinda. Okay. Unified. Right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's yeah. That's he cool. said he said he's nervous about high school, and I'm yeah. like, for what? Be good. I'm like, for what? He's Bomb like, king. I'm like, what is it? Yeah. 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 Like eighth You're grade. Good. Eighth grade <laughs> king. Okay. Well, you guys should have saw my face. It's, it's going. It's going to be a little transition. Uh, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. You just look past the popcorn. Right what you <laughs> for you? Reaching all over, climbing over some you know what she did? You know what she just did? You know what she just did? I'm just going to scooch on over here and just ask you about your warranty. <laughs> That's what you just did to me with the popcorn. I'm just going to scooch. I did not want to take Shamika out of her element. You know, she oh is my like. God. I stay in it. I stay in it. You can't break it. It's, it's natural. I stay in it. You're doing really good right now. So you, you come here. Uh, a couple yes. of months later, COVID happens. Yes, um, I get a. I end up getting a commercial agent during COVID. Okay. Um, um, I didn't. I wanted more theatrical. Okay. And you know, agents. So sometimes agents tend to just only want to have you in commercial. I don't mind doing both, mm -hmm. right. but just don't box me into that's the only thing because right. I know I'm good. I'm doing right. great. Like so, like I'm not saying. Don't waste me on commercials. What I'm saying is, is like, don't just only put me in commercials because you know that gets the check in faster. Right. right. right you know, right. so don't don't suppress my craft right. and putting me out in front of people um, just because you only want to present me to the jobs that are going to get you a check in quick. Right. So, you know, it worked initially because when I was out here, I didn't have anybody. Right. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a couple auditions mm -hmm. here. So I ended up doing, I ended up getting that, and then I had tried to do uh, a manager, and that this manager didn't work out. It just, mm -hmm. we'll just, we'll just leave that there. Mm -hmm. oh, this didn't work out. So <laughs> we moved, on, we moved on, and then, um, then I had found an agent who wanted to do 
for, you know, full exclusive. And I was mm. like, okay, great. Mm. So went full exclusive mm. and we were rocking. Like we were great. And then like across the board, like across the board. Oh, yeah. Okay, like cool. full exclusive. So yeah. they're representing everything. And I'm like, that's what I want. Okay. Right. You know, just send me for everything. Voice, commercial, theater. Like, I love that. Send me out there. That was great. Worked out great for like the first year. And it happened. And then they started going through some personal issues that were outside, yeah. um, and it just ended up not being uh, fitting where I was going because right. it was just it was starting to feel like that whatever it was that they were going through personally was then impacting the talent, not just right, myself, right, right, right. but just the like a, roster. the roster, yeah. and um, that there just weren't enough people in place to continue the business while. Things were happening personally. Right, right, right. So there just needed to be more people that was on the team right. that could handle things as, you know, personal things were happening outside of the business. Well, somebody slept with somebody's wife or something? Uh, uh no, no. Of course, I think that, I think, no, uh, I, think I mean, that's that's what usually happens. No, no, I don't I don't recall any affairs. No, okay. okay, <laughs> no. Okay. So so I so that was pretty much like last year because you know I told you it's only been four years. I've been, yeah. you know, I've been moving and shaking around here. So I start so I put myself back out there to try and find me another. And then um, January I signed with another agency and, and got another full exclusive. Perfect so timing. so it's been working oh, out. Just like, this past January. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I've only been here four years, so I've been boom. Right, boom. Right, like, right. When I say I'm gonna move. Moving. I'm going to move. Right, right, right. You're like, motivating me to be um, represented across the board with my agent. Because mm-hmm. I had, I'm represented with her with uh, theatrical, mm-hmm. but she was like, do commercial with me, you know? But I don't want to stray you away from where you're, who you're with. Mm-hmm. But I'm only getting non-union mm. with who I'm with right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of trying to like get out of that mm-hmm. so I can just have my agent represent me across the board, mm-hmm. you know? Because mm-hmm. she's like... I mean, things changed, but she was like, the goal is to be, I mean, SAG, um, what is that? SAG. Eligible. Eligible Mm -hmm. by August. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm like, okay, but I mean, I didn't go with her. So now that's like, you know, making me feel like I should just go with her. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot. I mean, nothing, nothing beats a fail but a try. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, so now that I, I really like this relationship that I have with this agent, so now I'm trying to, um, I put myself out there too, because now I want a manager too. Yeah. Because uh-huh. I'm working on expanding, mm-hmm. you know, my team. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So um, tell us about um, some of the jobs that, that you've had since you've come to L.A. Well, the biggest job that I had since I came was I booked that Lifetime movie, For Secrets in the Building. Secrets in the Building. Okay. And I'm the lead. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Michelle on it? Um, am I Michelle? Yes, I'm Michelle. See? I, was getting ready, I was getting ready to say, um, no, I'm Melanie. No, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> a different <laughs> one. <laughs> 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 At some point, they kind of run into each other. Okay. <laughs> they do. Um, but yes, so here's the thing. I audition for I audition for stuff. I don't I don't really be paying attention. Like I'll read what the role is about. Right. I read what the storyline is, mm-hmm. and if I'm interested, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. I don't do something and be like, you know, I need to be the lead for this. I need right. to be. I don't do stuff like that. But right. I was like, okay, I saw the audition. It came in, came in through my agent mm-hmm. or whatever that I had last year. Right. 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 So I was like, okay, did the audition. Went on about my life. I'm. Very much so into, you know, I do my audition. I set it. I forget it. Uh, throw it away. I throw it away. I, I really do. Right. I do. I'm like, I go on about my life. If the, To me, the gift was I got offered the audition. Uh-huh. Right. Because right. there's like hundreds of thousands who didn't even get the offer. Right. So my face stood out enough for them to say, hey, let me ask for her. Right. So I'm grateful in my auditions every single time. Outside of that. I go on about my life. Right. Mm. So went on about my life. Then I get this. Uh, then I get this email. And it's like you know, Sharmika, you got an offer for the role. And I was like, oh okay, right. Amazing. <laughs> go when I read it and everything. Yeah. And stuff. And then it wasn't until like the contract came through that I had to like blink. I was like, wait a minute, I'm the lead. I said, like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> because when I when I had read the story, right, I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm so used to doing things where um, the storyline is based on the younger folks. 
Mm. And so, like, I'm, I am the mom, but the story isn't based uh, around me, right? right or right. you know, what I'm saying it's right. around the teenagers and right, what's happening right. with them. So I don't ever think about it. So I just right. be like, okay, but the job, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like that. So then, what after I read it, and it was like, you know, Michelle and her daughter, you know, they move and this, and I was, I was like, I was like, kind of late. I was like. Mom, <laughs> you know, because that's what you got to do. You call mama. You call. Oh. I was like, oh my god, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. having to oh, oh my god, oh my god, that's that's tech. I was like, and then okay, mind you, didn't know it was lifetime yet. Oh, okay, wow. so I just knew I booked a lead in a feature. Right. Okay, all right, they're like book the lead. We getting it. And that's the first time meeting Doug. Right. So then, you know, we get a, a group call, you know, expectations, all that jazz, contract, all that stuff out works. They're like, so, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm reading through. And I, and I said, oh, well, you know, am I going to have to be there for all 14 days? <laughs> right. And so, no, it's really the, hitting you. The producers <laughs> was like, yes, you're the lead. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. First time for everything. I just was making sure. But it was like, it was the fact that I was just so conditioned yeah. that I was only coming in for a couple of days right. in my role and then I'm yeah. out yeah. Or because yeah. that has been, because at this point, I'm 20 years deep. Right. right? right. And right. that has been the majority. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a different world when they're like, oh, you're the lead. They're like, yes, you're the lead. I was like, okay, I'm here all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even so, when it's not about you or like you're not. They're not filming you. Was, mm -hmm. Were they filming you every? I got filmed every day. Oh, oh. Nice, nice. I got filmed every day. So even on the scenes where it was just like um, other actors, they were bringing in um, a scene like B roll and things that oh, I yeah. could do. So I did. I worked every day. Oh, wow. I, did, I worked every day. And funny story. So you know, so the way that the schedule worked, you know, I would be gone by the time my son would go off and leave the school, but he. Or I'll walk to school. So it's okay. okay, right? Yeah. So he can walk to and fro. Yeah. So <laughs> at night, when he goes to bed, I'll say, you know, good night, sweet dreams. I love you. I'll see you in the morning, mm. right? In the morning, I say, oh, good morning, Papa. How was your day? Yeah. Like, how, how did you sleep, right? Yeah. And so I was so delirious on one of the days that I had had off mm. that I'm laying in the bed and it's the morning, mm -hmm. but it's dark in my room. My son comes in and he's like, "Okay, mom, I'm going to I'm going to school." Mm. And I said, "Night, night, sweet dreams. Have a good day." He said, "He said it's the morning." I was like, "Good morning. How did you sleep? How's it going?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? He was like, "Okay." He just leaned it. He gave me a kiss. He's like, "Okay, mom, I'll see you later." But I was like so delirious because yeah. that was my first time. Like experiencing that, so anyway. I I got confused once I went to sleep. I got confused with night and day. How wow. many hours were you on set? Oh, well, well, we have to commit to no less than 12. Mm. So, and for the most part, we had 12. Mm. Damn. We had 12. Wow. And Doug was, uh, Doug is very adamant that, you know, he doesn't want to exceed it because he doesn't like people. Yeah. You know, he's very concerned right. with his cast and his crew. Right. right. And, you know, you appreciate that. That's why yeah. I told him, I was like, you are the actor's and he's director. On point. Yeah. yeah. And so if, you know, he's going to do his best to make sure that you get all of that in within that time because mm. he doesn't like you traveling late, if mm. at all possible, and tired. Right, right. So, yeah, but we, we pretty much had our 12. Wow. Every every time. And it took you two weeks to film it? Yeah, we, we got through we and we got a day. I think I got I want to say I got a day off, a day or two off out yeah. of each. Okay. But it ends up being a total of like fourteen days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. It did. So yeah, so then it like I didn't know it was a lifetime movie, right? So then I just thought it was a feature. Yeah. Okay. Because it's not like that they announce any of that on your casting. Right, right, like, right. I don't think like people really realize a lot of stuff you don't find out until you are on like set. booked solid or on set. Right. Mm. And so I'm getting mic'd. And so we're, you know, getting ready to do like one of my scenes and I'm getting mic'd. And the sound guy was like, So have you done many lifetime movies? Mm. I was like no, I haven't done any. <laughs> and so he was like, oh, well, they usually call you back. And I said, I said, this is a lifetime movie? Yeah. He was like, yeah. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Ma! <laughs> <laughs> I had to call back. I had to, I had to call on back to Connecticut. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? So yeah, that was how I found that out. Oh, my God. That was crazy. crazy. I was like, I said, you know what? I was like, you know, I think like that pleasant surprise. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think that like that keeps you humble. It keeps you grateful. Because I'm just like, man, th 
this shit's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Lead. This is last time. Like, I'm like, good. And so, okay, so then, all right, we fast forward. Yeah. And it's supposed to come out in December, and then yeah. they end up, you know, pushing it to January. Okay. The night that it premiered, I want to say it was like January 6th, okay. you know, everybody and their mother from every coast that ever <laughs> knew me in life, okay, were all over my ass. Watch it. Oh. I'm gonna watch it next. Okay. I haven't watched they it. They were like yet. all over me because you know, you find out that you know everybody like back home, even people you don't even talk to. Yeah. But everybody back home now they're sharing it and they're yeah. like, you know, she's from our hometown. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, you got all of that. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here and my anxiety is like through the roof because <laughs> I hadn't seen it. I don't know what mm. it looks like. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. Ugh. I'm like the whole world, because I got family that's down south, yeah. you know, that's on this coast and the next, and everybody's sharing and everything. And yeah. they're like, make sure you watch it. I'm like, right. it better be good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you don't even know. So it's just, it's just me and Jackson, and we're in the living room, and like, and I'm watching it and everything, and my hands are like this, because my TV is up right there. That's yeah. Right. So I'm watching it, and my hands are like this. Nerves and everything, and I was like, okay. And so I had to put my phone on do not disturb because I needed people to stop talking to me. Stop yeah, talking, yeah, stop yeah. talking, stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop. Like I yeah. got my, I got my own problems going right. on over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So then also in this, you know, I end up having a kissing scene. So I had to check in with my boo, and I'm like, you good? <laughs> <laughs> you make sure you all right. <laughs> so he like he fine. Great. <laughs> all right, moving right along. <laughs> Because, you know, you just got to kind of get them things out of the way. Yeah. You know, get them yeah. things out of the way. Because I was like, because my girlfriends was like, uh, girl, he going to have a fit. I'm like, oh, I told him. <laughs> I told him. I told him, like, if the check's clear, I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm just saying. Mm, right. I'm, I'm not shy. <laughs> Can't, anybody, li- I ain't shy. So if the check's clear, with Girl. the exception of it being something explicit, I do not have any problem doing love scenes. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. look, just bump the incentive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. bump it up. Just, just bump it up and you got me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm For like, real. You know, I'm like, it was just like a kissing scene. Yeah. But it's like be from the point that him and I had started being like he had never seen me do that with anybody of else. So I'm not. just like, right. um, I just need to make sure that you're good because I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> What he said, he said he was good. I under, you know, he understood. Uh, yeah. his, he, I understood your profession and everything yeah. like that. So he's been, he's been really good. I still got him. We're still together. I'm gonna keep him. That's All right. Good. That's <laughs> so good. you know, so yeah. So he's he's super supportive. I love yeah, that. He's super supportive. So yeah. yeah. So you know, like after I watched it. And um, then I, you know, I opened up my phone to like yeah. get, well, and I had like tears in my eyes yeah. because I was so proud of myself. Right, oh. and I was like, I watched that, and also too, that was my first time doing stunts. Right. Oh, oh you did your own stunts. I did my own stunt. Wow. I love that That's what's up. too. So. As a result of that, I end up taking a stunt class. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I wanted, because and I did that this year. Okay. So because awesome. it because it opened up because you know like, they were in like twelve week increments yeah. six eight to twelve weeks and so it opened up and so I did that. Um, did January. you do a stunt class before you did the stunt? No, okay. I learned my stunts on set. They taught you and everything. Yeah. Okay. We did it right there. That's oh what's my up. God. Yeah. So I'm like I I'm like I've I've gotten punched and fell a lot of times. <laughs> And then okay, so then you have you have people who know you personally, right? Yeah. Pe- people have people have a hard time separating reality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and right. first thing people say, they was like, "How did Mika?" That's my family calls me. Yeah. How did Mika let her just punch him like that? I'm like, it's TV. <laughs> She ain't duck. I taught her how to duck. Square just, up. She, she just square up. She just got <laughs> let her punk her like I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny because family is like that. They are. You're like, it's a scene. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I, d- I didn't get hit. <laughs> but I that did. just shows they were into it. Though. Yes. And then, okay, then I have my aunt who, even when I went back home this past June, yeah. she had to let me know that she was not happy that I kissed that guy. Mm. She had to let me know. She, she had to like, get that in there. <laughs> but my sisters had already been telling me mm. she's been saying it. So mm. it's like, they told me. What, I know. You what, what was wrong with the guy? There was nothing wrong with the guy. She just don't like kissing. How was the kiss? Uh, <laughs> it was a kiss. And so she was like, I bet you had. Because she's, 
She's elderly. <laughs> she's elderly. Work with me, guys. She's like, I bet you had your tongue all in his mouth. I'm like, I did it. Yes, she did. Yes. <laughs> How are you going to tell me where my tongue went? I'm okay. telling you my tongue didn't go there. Yeah. I'm like, I, says, I told her, I said, that, this is me telling her this last month. When I saw her in her face, I said, that means I did my job because you believe that I did. Mm. I said, we had the act. Nobody exchanged saliva. Yeah. I was like, but thank you because that's a compliment because that means right. we did a good job. Right. But she's like, I don't like kissing anyway. Okay, but you didn't have to kiss them. <laughs> Nobody asked you right, right, to kiss right. <laughs> But she, she, So from the point she said, here she goes, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> so I had to hear that when I went home. So I let you know. Yuck. She was like, "Yuck! <laughs> Ugh, you just, you just, just kissed up." I was like, <laughs> "My character was on a date, <coughs> and you know they were ending the date." Yeah, and that typically happens on a good date. Right. She was like, "Yuck!" <laughs> what? What that did like uh, my mom? <laughs> I think my mom would say. <laughs> Just, what what did uh what did Jackson think about the movie? Oh, he told me he said, "Mom, you did such a good job." Oh. Shimika has That's me cracking up. I'm over here crying and stuff on camera. <laughs> good, it's a good cry. He told me you're so proud of me. Like Jackson is my when I tell you he is my number one fan. He is my number one fan so much that yeah. um in seventh grade they had to write a um paper in one of their classes of who their hero was, and I didn't know that he chose me. Oh. I didn't know that. So it wasn't until it was like the end of school year and, you know, you're doing the walkthrough and, you know, because I'm one of those that I'll be like, is there anything that we need to talk about that he didn't tell me? Yeah. You know? And so, you know, so she was like, so I forget the name of the teacher, but she was like, oh, I'm so happy to finally meet you. Um, you know, we had to do a vote and write this paper about who Heroes was and such a thing. And Jackson told us all about you. And I was like, <laughs> I was like he did. So I'm looking at him and I was like, dude, you didn't tell me you out in these streets talking about about your mama what you, you don't let me be surprised like what's going on right. so she was like oh no no it was all good things and it was like as a result of that like everybody in the class looked at my website they're on my imdb they're like she's so a star, star. Yeah. and i immediately became like the coolest mom Jackson's mom is the coolest mom. Yeah, and like she does so much stuff. And then a yeah. lot of them watch uh Darmon videos, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I did a couple of those. Oh, nice. Darmon. Yeah. What is that? Um Darmon, they do a lot of edu it's a YouTube mm -hmm. um channel and they do a lot of educational videos for like teens and stuff like oh, that. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know, on a, a scenario and then they have an outcome of, you know, the right way to do it or how it is that you treat people, what it can result in. Okay. You know, right did you audition for that or how does that work? You know, I got I got on I got on their list, I wanna say initially by an audition. Oh, okay. And then they just would call me back if they had a rule. Do they have like different things? I think I saw mm -hmm. one with basketball or something. They do How everything. To treat your like yeah, it's it's like mm. I think I did it, see he's that. been doing it for for some years oh, now. Yeah, I've so seen it. so they were watching, you know, they're watching those, and then you know I had did a, I did a couple of those, and Good. so then you know then they saw me there. So it was like every sure. time that every time that something would come up. You know, they, they make dope. sure. And so Jackson passes it on. They're like, what's your mom doing? And so if they're, if they're in the, if he's in his room and they're gaming and I hear him on speakerphone, you'll hear him yelling back, hey, Jackson's mom, what, what's new? What you doing? I'm like, okay. So, oh yeah, so, so he, he made sure. So, yes, when I say he's my number one fan, yeah. he makes sure everybody knows what his mom he does because he's, 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 he's proud of me. Yeah. Oh, I love so that. That's yeah. awesome. Aw, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make sure I get him to you. I'm going to make I sure. I need to meet you. you. You are. I'll make sure. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. So, so after after this life, what was it called again? Secrets in the building. Secrets in. Mm. Uh huh. Michelle and her daughter Nora moved to a new building following the death of their husband, which was Doug. Doug, oh. was, Doug was my husband. Oh, <laughs> that's a twist. Doug was in my husband. There. But you only see that as a uh, as a picture, right? Because right. we had did a family picture. Okay. okay. So, but yes, yeah, so Doug was my husband. Oh my awesome. god. <laughs> yes. So, um, and then it was like. All of the craziness that ensues once they move into this new building. Okay, okay. So okay. yeah, awesome. Yeah. Awesome so, 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 yeah. so after this movie, um, mm -hmm. 
Did they call back? Because you said the sound yes. they called back. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, Doug called me back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doug called me back. And that was a couple months ago. Um, he did a film that's called Danger in Yosemite, but they'll probably end up changing it. Yeah. Um, but, which actually have to do some ADR for tomorrow. Nice. Yes. So. I'm sorry, um, you said ADR? Yeah. So that's when we have to dub over our voice because maybe it didn't come through clearly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I do. I have to do some ADR for them tomorrow. Nice. Um, but. Uh, he he had needed a because they were filming it in Yosemite, mm-hmm. but they had he had needed um, um a hotel manager, okay. and it was a direct call. So like it was like agent to agent direct call because mm-hmm. it was like Doug Doug said he wants you, it was, and it was just like nice. that. I was like Doug said he wants you, so and yeah. I'm like okay, I'm oh, free. Because I, I always told Doug I was like if I'm free, you got me. Yeah, like yeah, call. And so he did. I love that. And so I only I only end up needing to work one day. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I do. I got me a little part in that. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so, Doug. So now, look, so now I do. I got my second lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get called back again and again back, and again. Get back again and again and again. That's so what's yeah. Up. Wow. That's what's up. Good for you. So yeah. So then, um, just going back to what you had said at the beginning with uh, June's crown. Yeah. So uh, June's crown was something that we had filmed in. Um, in and it is uh, written and directed. Um, George Coleman is the director, uh, writer, and also director is Glenn Belief. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's, Glenn, what's Glenn's last name? Glenn, please forgive me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. Belief. B-E-L-E-A-F. <laughs> you, can, you can Google. He does. Um, he has a, uh, has a very um, supportive family channel mm. uh, between YouTube and Instagram. And it's all about, you know... The strength of the family unit, supporting uh-huh. fathers. He's very much so big into um, supporting the black community in its family oh, nice. structure. Him, his wife, and they have four kids. It's beautiful. Mm. So they um, they they do they do so much. They do so much. But this was um, a story that was you know rooted in his family mm-hmm. in in his heart um, because he had a sister that had passed away from cancer, and yeah. it was just like going through teaching a young girl how to appreciate her hair journey. Mm. So it would um YouTube Black Voices. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That was where he had gotten um the the staffing and, and everything, the wow. support to be able to do this. And That's then awesome. it was with uh five it was five different um platforms that got to do a short film or documentary. Wow. And then it was all showcased at a BFF mm. for the spotlight showcase in Miami. Wow. Yeah. And so when I had, um, so I had auditioned for that, and you know, same thing, same thing. <laughs> like I think I'm on. I think I need to really not care. Yeah. Because it's seeming like like the not focusing on the thing is like working for me. Right. right. So I'm like, you okay, know what? So. you're on the right track because I hear from so many other actors mm-hmm. that they said that their lives changed. They started booking so much more mm-hmm. when they didn't give a. Fuck. Yeah, I'm just like I'm gonna do it. Right. So yeah. it's like whatever it is. So whatever it is that I'm auditioning, I'm good. Whatever it is that I'm auditioning for, yeah. you know, that makes a difference on the wig you get. Because mm-hmm. this, I will. <laughs> let me tell you something. So mm-hmm. when I when I had read it, um, June, she was a hairdresser, mm-hmm. and um, she was she just put me in the mind that she was very much so in her natural state mm-hmm. or whatever. So I was like, all right. So we're not gonna. We're not going to do this wig. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I end up just, um, I had um, a wig pony, a curly wig ponytail mm-hmm. that um, it was like, it was an updo. Mm-hmm. And I took it and I did a wrap, uh, you know, around mm-hmm. it and I like stuck it up and I was like, yeah, yeah I'm feeling like, I was like, this is her. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Did the audition and went about my business. And then, you know, after I talked to, after I booked it and everything, and I'm like mm-hmm. talking to Glenn, he was like, as soon as I saw your audition, he was like, that's June. And I was yeah. like, I was like, because I felt it. Like, I right. was like, everyone I, and I said, that's that's why I said, like, I like to read about the character and I like to read what the storyline is. Right. And then I'd be like, okay, then I do my audition based off of that. Right. I don't do an audition based off of all of the things that they tell us that they want to um, see in, like, a script and stuff like that. Because I'm like, a lot of that, that's writer's language. Right, that's right. not our action. And sometimes people, you know, say if someone, if, if something and there's like, you know, a person is upset. Yeah. Right, a lot of times you'll have actors that play upset, mm-hmm. and it's like, don't play upset. What does upset look like in this right. moment? Like, really? right. Upset doesn't necessarily mean you're screaming. 
Right. You know, right. it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that you're you're having a tantrum. It doesn't necessarily mean like you're throwing things. And and when people think mad upset, they immediately go like that. Like upset can turn into. Yeah. And you can't even get it out. Right. You know, so it's like don't play yeah. the the words on the page. Mm. Like let it breathe mm. through you and see like what's happening here. So when we were on set for this, like. I had told them that I really, I was really open to going raw with this, mm -hmm. right? Meaning, like, because everything that I had did, like, I am a very happy, jovial person, like, always smiling and everything. I'm like, but I can get dark. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. just because Shamika is, you know, lively and stuff like that, trust me, like, we can go down. Right, <laughs> you, right. <laughs> you you want to see a breakdown? <laughs> Let's break down. <laughs> like, we can go there. Right. Right? And so... Um, in her here journey, you know, she's she's young, she's vibrant, because uh, initially it's supposed to happen in like the early 90s, mm. right? And then it's like, you know, because it's really it really is all about this little girl, mm. but June is, she's the catalyst as to why things happen the way mm. that they're happening. And so um, she does end up going through um, a cancer fight, mm. which is something that's true to my heart, because when I was 23, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Mm. And so is, you know, I just remember going through um, all of those emotions, like I hadn't even lived any life yet. Right. Right. So that is what I tapped into to go through June, because I remember that, like, right. it's easy for me to go back there and have that breakdown, because right. I was like, I had not, I had not, I was not married, I had not had a kid, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm 23, right? and it was that thing of, you know how, like, you're young, and you don't think that things are supposed to happen to you, because you're young, mm -hmm. so when something happens to you, you're like, the, why, wait, this, wait. why me, you're like, you're out of, this is yeah. out of order, this is supposed to happen when I get old, exactly, right. And I'm like, and, and then that just, you know, changed things for me. So then, you know, reading that and knowing that that was part of June's journey, I was like, oh. And so after I had read through the script, one of the things that I do is like after I book a job, mm -hmm. when I get my full script, I sleep with it under my pillow. Mm. <laughs> I do. Mm, I like I this. really do. This is I some sleep, gems right now. Yeah, I, I, I sleep. Like I sleep with it under my pillow, and whatever the name of the character is, mm. I ask for their energy to come to me in my sleep, mm. because that is when your subconscious mind is the most awake. Mm. Mm. So I don't, I don't want them. I don't want my character to come to me when I'm in my conscious mind, because then. To me, that puts me in a position to try and control it, yeah, even though you don't, yeah. even though you don't mean to. Mm -hmm. But it's like you, you're making it a certain way, mm -hmm. and it's just from your experiences. Mm -hmm. right. But your subconscious is, it's an open book, and it's the thing that whispers, mm -hmm. right? That's the thing. That's the softest thing we don't listen to. That right. that conscious mind be like blah blah blah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it does. It just be there, mm -hmm. but it whispers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and it can speak the loudest to you when you are the most still. Mm -hmm. So I do that. So if I book a job and I know I got that job and I need to, it don't matter how small the part is either. Yeah. I don't care if I'm working one day. I don't care if it's a five and under. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, I put that whole script under my pillow and I ask for that character to come to me in my sleep. Right. Wow, Shamika. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Yes. Well, yes. And let me know how. Powerful. And let That's me know. Deep. It is deep. Let me know how it works for you. Wow. Like I really want to know. You were just giving some gems right now. Yeah. To a lot of you actors out there, better be watching this episode. Yes. Listen. And Shamika is booking, so I am. He said I am. <laughs> yeah, like, she's booking. I am. Quickly. What What was the experience like at uh, ABFF? Oh my goodness! It was like I, you know. I mean, as soon as you said that, I had like hoses. That was <laughs> like it was like oh the the blackness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my God. <laughs> For those who don't like, know, it's the American Black Film Festival. Yes, right? it's the American Black Film Festival, and this is their twenty seventh year. Yeah. Wow. Right. I mean, when I tell you, it's like it's one of those things where you know we all exist in this industry, mm -hmm. but we are so few far. In between and being able to really work in this industry with each other, unless we all go to Georgia, right? right, right <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? And it's like you realize, like for me, you realize that in that space, there are so many of us, yeah, mm. on so many levels, yeah, mm. not just the the ones that they choose to 
put as the signatures right, in right. front of everybody. It's right. like we are a mighty batch, right. you know. Yeah. And so it was like just it was like just the excellence of it all. And I didn't know like the level of support mm-hmm. that it had from all ranks. Right, right, right. You know, because some because you know over the years you go to so many film festivals. Mm-hmm. Let's just keep it a hundred, right. Mm-hmm. right? You go to so many film festivals, and some of them you're like. This didn't need to be a film festival. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, you're right. like, it did it. And then some of them, you're like, okay, they're here. We're here. We're support. We're doing something yeah. with the films that are here. You have the right people here to network, mm-hmm. to collaborate, to build. You can meet those that are on your level yep. so that you can grow together. Yep. You know, versus, you know, having that mindset of thinking, okay, whatever it is that you see on social media or what you see on TV, like, I just got to try and always go for the big wig. And and that's something that people try and push on you as well. It's like, why don't you just go call Tyler Perry? Because it doesn't work like that. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I I remember some years ago doing a post saying, stop saying that to me. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That was a post. Don't don't, stop saying that. It doesn't work like that for any of us. We everybody don't just, oh, you're black, here's Tyler's number. Yeah. Right, right, right. (laughs) You oh, you're a person of color. Here's Tyler's number. Here's Tyler's number. It doesn't oh, you know Oprah because you're no, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. Right. So it's like to to be at the ABFF and to be able to experience first off, how much time and effort that they put into how how much there, you know, people that have been in the industry, even though, you know, those, there are those of us that have been in the industry that the world may not know, it mm-hmm. still doesn't right. mean that we don't have our time in the industry. Right. right. So right. then to be able to see, you know, and start having those conversations with people to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been doing this like 15 years and everything. Mm-hmm. And it like, it totally, you know, brings value to the everyday working actor, hence right. SAG after strike. Right. <laughs> you know, because the the everyday working actor is who is there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones that, you know, we are building together. Yeah. And and we are not what people would say the no names. You ever heard that term? People yes. be like, you're, you're the no names. Actually, no. Yeah. Just just because the media didn't tell you who you should focus on doesn't mean that we're no names. Exactly. You said it right. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So I I my experience there was just an appreciation mm-hmm. for the black culture, the peop the people of color culture because it was just a variety yeah. that support each other right, right. Mm-hmm. because you know to me there's also a lot of um falsehood around the fact that we're not supporting each other yeah, yeah. when in fact we are yeah you know you, you so it helps us to dismantle that myth right, right, right that you know we are not in a space of supporting like just something as simple as this right here yeah. right. like you know you guys call me yeah. And it's the fact that you thought about me mm-hmm. to say, okay, mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Right, right. And it's like, and so then I don't care if my platform is two people or, or 2,000, yeah. right. right? This is something then I can pay it forward and say, all right, my people, <laughs> right, yeah. right. let me talk to y'all for a second. Yeah, Get, get up on this follow train. Right. right. You know, and it's like we do support each other, but mm-hmm. it's far too often it's put out there like we don't. Right. And to me, it's just like the ABFF gave a perfect example that we are, and we are much stronger. Mm-hmm. And we are much stronger than what it appears. Right, right. We're very much supportive of each other on several levels. Right. And the collaboration, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was it was warming to the heart because that was the that was the biggest space I had ever been in. With that many people of color mm-hmm. in the entertainment business. Mm. Mm. Because more often than not, I'm surrounded by non yeah. right, right. people yeah. of color. Right, right. You know, so it was like, oh God, like, you know, you're here. Yeah. You're doing it too. You yeah. get, and you know, that's like one of the things that I was saying that um I really want more friends. In the business, mm. because you know, my day ones they're not in the business, mm. right? So it's only but so far I can go with and talk to them, it's only but so much that they can really understand, right? Right? But it's like this showed me that you know, we are here, mm-hmm. and I'm not the only one looking for friends in the business, mm-hmm. like real friends, mm-hmm. like someone that we can bounce off each other, we can collaborate, we can do stuff, mm. you know. And it's not a, you know, I'm just trying to get to the top. Right. I'm just trying, like, no, really, let's let's work. Right. 
right, right. let's do this. And it's like, you know, I end up I end up coming across a few, you know, good people that I had met. We exchanged numbers. We're yeah. still, you know, talking, checking in, yeah. how's things going, mm -hmm. and you know, just able to like share resources and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I swear I I really do believe like we all can make it together. Yeah. Right. Like I believe that so yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. Like we can. Mm -hmm. But the problem is is that at some point Someone decides to be greedy and they're like, no, I don't need. It's like, no, but we can have more together. It's like right. the same yeah. thing like being in a relationship. You can be fantastic by yourself, but if you get the right partner, right. y'all blow the roof off the motherfucker. Right, right. right. Real right. talk. 100%. Like that. So, yeah, that was the experience that it gave me. Like it, it opened up my eyes that we are available to each other to yeah. work with each other and we want to. Mm -hmm. Now, most of the people that were there were most of them from like Georgia or was it, it was like everywhere really like everywhere it was everywhere if yeah. you if you were in the entertainment business you yeah. were there yeah and it didn't matter if you were cast crew actor yeah. writer director producer everybody was there okay mm. everybody was there and it had you you had um um you, you bought a you bought a pass Right, and you got to do screenings of different um, movies, short or feature, nice. you know. But you had to just make sure that you got there in time because it really was a first come, first yeah, serve yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Okay, um, you can buy different levels of passes, they had different panels. Mm -hmm. You know, um, TV One was there, all black. You had NBC, you had um, I want to say Netflix, or Hulu That's was a dope. sponsor, yeah. Ally. It was like That's cool, it was amazing. How many days? A uh, four, four. Yeah, it was really, it was five. On the fifth day was community day, but that was my day that I traveled home. Okay. So it ends up being, I want to say like, because it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something. Yeah, so nice. it ends up being five days. And and it's a workout. Like, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a workout. Like, yeah. you are... You are up early mm -hmm. to make panels, to make it, you know, if you want to be there. And then they also did have a talent showcase, too. Nice. You know, with the opportunity, um, there was a young lady who ends up winning, and she's going to be on a show on um, All Black. Oh, oh so, so, yeah. So, it's like, you know, opportunities, it was a lot of networking. So, it's like, I it was like that. all day, and then like at the end on a couple of days, and we partied. When's the next one? June. It's June every year. Okay. Because oh, yeah. we're going together. Okay. I'm going with you. Look, say less. Because <laughs> we're going together. <laughs> say less. Um, because it was just easier. It was easy for me to go because I went to Connecticut yeah. first, right? Oh, okay. And then and then I stayed there with my family and until it was time and then I just kept on going. And yeah. so I was kinda like going about two weeks Love and that. then I circled back. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That's yeah. What's up. So how's everything been going with, you know, the strike going on? Are you still getting auditions right now? Oh, um at a standstill. My life pretty much started to freeze yeah. once the writers mm. when I should so uh, May. May. Or May May second. Yeah. May second is when May they went May. live with their strike. Because I wanna right. say they're on like seventy days, seventy yeah. plus days now. Oh yeah. Um so everything like I was when I say I was hopping, <laughs> when I yeah. say I'm hopping, I mean, I'm on two, three auditions a day, either that or I'm booking. You know, okay. like, I'm like, I was hopping. Right. May 1st, chirps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and Tiffany going to have uh, a, a bird call uh, contest. I'm just going to see this. got to get is that it. <laughs> it was like, I was just looking around. They were like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so it was like, ooh. And um, so honestly, like, I'm not happy. Yeah. Like, nobody can be happy yeah. right now, yeah. especially when it's affecting something that you love yes. to do. Right. Yes. Like, that's my outlet. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing. Right. You know, like, to be able to... Um, absorb another character's energy and like be able to bring it to life and everything like, like it does something for me right. you know and it then you a certain way. yeah and then to have people like and have it to you know, like ignite something in someone else as a result of something that i was able to just display in yeah. in something that i love like it's right. so fulfilling right 
even you know, even though it doesn't always pay the way you would like it to, but it is something that's very fulfilling for me. Yeah. It feels very much so in my purpose, right. you know, so it makes me full. Mm -hmm. And so for then for us to be going back and forth through all of this because of the politics mm -hmm. of it all, mm -hmm. because of the business of it all, it does, it, it hurts. So, you know, you, you, and it's like, and at times like this, that's what I'm like, you know, I really wish that since I was here that I had had me more people in the industry and stuff like that. Cause I'd be like, let's make stuff. Yeah. Let's make uh, stuff. Cause I don't, yeah. I don't want to make stuff like I'm in the pandemic and making it by myself. Like I need a team. Like, hello, yeah. where, what are y'all doing? Yeah. Let's do stuff. Right. You know? Right. So, um, that was one of the things that was first on my agenda when I moved here was yeah. to get me, you know, just a team, just yeah. find some people that, you know, y'all want to do some stuff. Yeah. Let's uh, do some right. stuff. And then, you know, COVID just like changed my life Yeah, yeah. as all of us. Right. right? right. So it's just been it's just been hard, right. you know, trying to adjust. Right. Um, I am very much so grateful though, because I do still have a full time job. Yeah. Right? I do. It's a so blessing. right. And you know, and in that full time job, you know, I, I have benefits, I have all those things. Mm -hmm. But I understand how my thespian sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. you know, some are not as fortunate. Right. Yeah. So even though I may say, okay, I'm not happy, I'm definitely not worse off than some, and I recognize that. So that's why I'm like, I'll be there. Yeah. You know, I'll be You're there. You're going tomorrow? Yeah, I'll okay, be there. I'm going nice. tomorrow, and I'm going Friday. Nice. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to be there regardless, but as far as work, right? like we, I, I, don't, I can't speak for anybody else, but I went cold turkey with the writers mm. and so you know i still was able to do things i had a couple things that kind of snuck in there but it was nothing you know it was nothing like it was mm. Mm. you know like it was like if you had already booked something mm. or if you were kind of like already negotiating or in the works or something mm. those things still happened mm -hmm. but it's like if you didn't have anything that was already happening like no auditions and stuff mm. came in and what about commercials Commercials we can still, still going. we can still do commercials because commercials is not attached to the AMPTP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I gotta say it slow to make sure it's strong. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, I haven't even gotten any commercial auditions that have mm -hmm. come in. Wow. I haven't. Yeah. So, are you a part of a SAG or WGA? Um, eligible. I'm SAG eligible. I did not. Um, I have not. Um, became SAG because I still have been getting more work on the non-union. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting until I'm a must join. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so how much time do you have? Yeah, how much time? Like, since you are eligible, how much time do you have to actually join? It's your next job. It's like the next job that I book, mm -hmm. I'm a have to. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's on, it depends on the work that you get in your role. Mm -hmm. Okay. That you get. So the next job that I do, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you have to. <laughs> so so it has to. to be a SAG job. Yes. Or, okay, yes. Okay, it has okay. to be a SAG job. Okay. But um, I'm like, you know, I was thinking about my coins. I'm like, so I can still kind of do both right now. Yeah. So that's why I was like, let me not stop Once my, SAG, that's, that's it. Right. So I was like, let me not stop my flow. Yeah. So you won't be able to do like lifetime movies. Then. After no. After no. no. I won't. That was the only reason why I was able to. Doug is going to be heartbroken. He is. <laughs> He is. So, yes, yeah, so that's like, you know, but it's like, um, so even though, no, I'm not full, you know, 100%. And I'm like, to me, I'm still like, mm -hmm. we, oh, yeah, we still yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah, in. It's yeah. just, you know, I'm just doing stuff in my pockets. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't, you told me I don't have to yet, right? I don't have to. Yes. Right. Okay. So I'll, I'm good. So right I'm now. good. Right. All right. Yeah. So I can still do. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go do this job <laughs> because they, they want to pay me. And then yeah. I can do this one. They're like, yeah, but your next one, you're going to have to. I'm like, okay. So I'm just gonna go do that. <laughs> you're you're like a jack of all trades, right? Yeah. Like you even are an entrepreneur. I well, am. I mean, actors are pretty much entrepreneurs. Yes, you're right. right? You're but right. That's fair. They're you right. have your own business. I do. So let's talk about that. We can. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it. So I am the owner <laughs> of uh, BU Candles, mm -hmm. which has is in its rebranding right now as BYC Home Decor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look! Look at somebody's hand going under the table. <laughs> This is mine. <laughs> look, don't look over here. You can't have it. So I um, originally started off during the pandemic uh, because I was doing a drop shipping on clothing. Okay. And during the pandemic, I got scammed so bad with companies mm. overseas that really? it, was, it like killed my pockets. Wow. Really? 
Oh my, it took me out. So I had to figure out something. And I always would go to Walmart and buy me a candle every time yes. that I would grocery shop. And so I'm sitting out on my deck. We're all in the pandemic. I'm sipping. It's lit my candle. Had a couple of wine. And I was like... I wonder if I can make that <laughs> <laughs> because you know it was like I was like like desperate for creativity you know what right. I'm saying like I really right. was like that's the way that I would describe it so you know I started I started playing around I got me a kit and watched me some YouTube videos and then before you know it I had like made me some candles and it has evolved like so much that now I am in this luxury Look it, just look it. <laughs> I'm in this luxury this candle end. lifestyle where I'm doing coconut wax candles. Oh, wow. And I get, yes, you get a little gift. A little too. <laughs> I'm using this when I take a bath tonight. Yes, use it. What, so cute. what scent is that? I gave you. Day at the spa. I gave you day at the spa. So, yes, yeah, so I have. Um, so smell it, Matt? So mm -hmm. in, this, in this style, they are. I'll pass it. In this style, they are in a black matte vessel with Oh my god, a, I even get matches. You got matches? <laughs> <laughs> with a dark maple wood thick lid. My fave. Yes. I love this whole, the black and oh my yes. god. Yes. Look at how beautiful. These are 3D labeling that I do apply myself. Jamaica. I do. And it has a tubed wick, so when it burns, it has a light fire pit crackle. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I, I love it. I've already gotten one of your candles. Yes, you did. And I lit it right away, and it, I left it to light, and it just... You know, it was lit the whole night, and it just went so it just, fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love your candle. Oh, my God. Thank this you. So good. You want to smell this? Yeah. Yes, come smell. Oh, my God. I would, like... Put that on as a lotion. Yeah, and you know what? Here's the thing: is because it's, lotions do? because it's I don't make lotions. I don't, but because it's coconut wax and it's vegan, you yeah. actually right. can yeah. you can like do it. Yeah. I do have a customer that does like to um, use some of the candle wax as a hand moisturizer. Ooh, she does. She'll just take some of it and just because it's coconut wax. It smells so good and yeah. so. Clean I won't refreshing. stick my finger in your candle, but for the audience, you can stick your finger in Ooh, it and I'll like and show I'll it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Cut it out. <laughs> Leave my yeah. candle well, alone. Go ahead. Put your hand. Like go ahead okay, and like try. take some mm -hmm. and show them. Ooh. See? Ooh, ooh! I got a little bit of mix of popcorn in there. <laughs> <laughs> that scent, I do not, I don't Ooh. sell that scent. I don't sell that Oh, my God. You see? Mmm. And it smells so, yeah, so lovely. So they'll burn it, and then they'll say, oh, I'll just take a little bit. And oh, just yes. Moisturize my how, how long does it take you to, to make one? Um, I do, um, at this point, like, I can do a batch, which a batch will be, like, 10, because, you know, they're so thick and yeah. big. I could do a batch within an hour. I love this oh, at this point. Shea. Nice. Shea. Nice. Shea. Yes. Scented mm -hmm. premium coconut wax. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Almond, amber, shea, coconut, wood, tonka, bean light, musk, sandalwood, and cedar notes. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yes. Thank you so, so thank much. Thank you. So on on that note, put oh, back. I don't want you to get your yeah. handprints on them. Yeah. That's why I put it there. So um, beautiful part is is that um, am, I am part of a directory that's called Buy from a Black Woman, mm. right? And uh, the owner of that is Nikki Porsche. Shout out to Nikki. Mm. Hey. Um, and um, as a result of being up there, they do a lot of partnerships with different businesses. Love and that. so in December, this past December, mm -hmm. they had a holiday market. So my candles was able to be featured in H&M oh for the holiday gosh. market. And I got invited back. And so they will be featured again on the Saturday the 22nd in, in L.A. at H&M. That is Thank amazing. You. That is dope. Thank you. Girl. Yes. We're moving on up. We're doing, we doing stuff. We're doing moves. stuff. We're doing stuff. So the additional um, home decor is um, accent pieces, paintings, and things like that. And I'm yeah. doing that via a um, home furnishing company that's out here in Commerce, California. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So those, those are the things that I'm doing. Love it. That's super dope. Got my that's candle. That's a oh really God. nice. <laughs> I'm 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 low key jealous that you didn't bring two candles, but well, somebody you know. only told me to bring one. <laughs> she told you look, to bring look, one. I'm not gonna say I anything, said, but oh my god! Wow. Wait, 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 
You know what? That's, that's, wow. That's so bad. You know what I was thinking? I'm like, <laughs> you know what it was? <laughs> Y'all see how she do me. You know what? Damn. You want to know, know something? I got you back. Oh, Remember? Man. For the, we, what is it? The the We Meet or whatever that what? is. What? The what? That that company that's right. sponsoring us. This is when I eat the popcorn because this is tea. What are you Beyond me. <laughs> Beyond me. What, I didn't what? get a hat. I didn't get any goodies. You didn't get a hat. You didn't get any goodies. <laughs> no, a hat, a shirt, nothing. You got oh everything. God, you wasn't there, See? but I'm here. I'm just kidding. I'm oh kidding. So you know what? God. I'm gonna be honest. I love. She, she, wait, she, I love she told she you to bring one. Candy. Yes, I she did. She said, she said, "Bring one for me." Yes, she did. I did. And I, and I did. I love I, her candles so much. I, I didn't know you liked candles. I did what she asked. Oh, like, blooded. I did what she asked. Yeah. Cold. You know now. Blooded. I'm so Hold on, now I'm sweating because I feel really bad, right? <laughs> Yeah, look, y'all, y'all see how she I'm do. I'm sorry. Man. This y'all was a personal conversation do, between me and Shamika, and I love her candles. So I was like, not thinking you, you, about you. Shamika, do you yes. think she said I wasn't me a thinking text, about was you. Like, hey, you know, Shamika's coming. Um, she's going to bring a candle. You want me to see if she want to bring one? Maybe you want one for your wife or something like that. No, you know, I didn't I think. Like, I'm so sorry. I mean, that's she so, knows I'm married. You know what I mean? That's so selfish like, so it's of like, me. You know, mm-hmm. That's so selfish of me. In retrospect, you should have done better. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I got you next time. Mm. You see, you see, well, you see how they do you, boy. Man. Well, I am on. I have my website. It's, now you can go look. I got It's bucandles.com. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go through the website. I am also on Amazon. Okay. Um, on Facebook and Instagram, mm-hmm. you can you can buy from me. Mm-hmm. The point is, is to come and buy from me. exactly. Like, listen, I be plugging guys. Mm-hmm. Come a little closer to the screen because I know you hear me talking to you. <laughs> okay, what we are not gonna do. This is what we're not gonna do. We are not going to have you keep telling me you're gonna support me and you don't. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Exactly. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we say we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. So if you say. Shamika, what's the information? How can I support you? I want a candle. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting to see an order from you. Don't say it if you're not going to buy. Maj. <laughs> Shamika, yeah. I will buy <laughs> It probably won't be for six months. I'm buying my months. candle. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not. Mm-hmm. But, you know. Yeah, as a small business, as a small business owner, like seriously, that is so painful. Yeah, it's like but, stop saying that to us. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's yeah. like if, and if, not doing it and not doing it's it. Like a small talk. Yeah, probably. you don't. Have, you yeah. don't have. I promise you, you don't, don't have to talk. Small, me. Don't small right. talk me. You yeah. don't have to. I promise you, you are not going to hurt my feelings. And yeah. I understand it's the summer. It's hot. Right, Nobody right. wants oh, candles. And this was, and, this was, and it's, it's funny because okay. now that you're saying that, but that's what made me feel like I should have thought of Madge. But I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I want to buy the candle from her. So instead of ordering it, I can just have her bring the candle so i wasn't thinking oh can you bring another one for Madge? but i should have asked you you could have said something for your wife you could have said something i'm so sorry what, what, kind, of, those what are, kind of sense is your wife like i can tell you which which one like kind stuff of the like best. that like shea butter yeah and, you know, did she, she like the did you like the day at the spot with the small one did the you? day at the spot yeah that yeah, smelled really think good she would like that um mm-hmm. there's this like tahitian flower we went to um bora bora a few months ago oh i want to go like to bora a, bora, uh, bora. How yeah, was it? I'm sorry. I know this is my interview, but tell me, how was it? <laughs> it was, um, it was incredible. Oh, it was incredible. That's, that's just all that's on my, about it. That's on my bucket list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You okay, should go. You okay. Should go. All right, go you ahead. Go. Look, you were but, saying. <laughs> but, uh, she bought this, um, this coke, this Tahitian coconut oil, like mm. with a Tahitian flour, mm. and, it, and that smelled really good. Like yeah. that would be good, like for your candle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta, I gotta tell you that scent so you could kind of. Yeah, let yeah, me, yeah, yeah. let, let yeah, me get a feel really for yeah. what that is, yeah. and you never know, I might can whip up something. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely, it'll, it'll, it'll be because those are really I, I like the, I like the glass, the matte black glass. Yes. Um, the top is is. It's very well done. Thank it's, you. It's very beautiful. Thank you. No, I really appreciate nice. that. Really As I've nice. been telling Maj, I'm like, we need to have any events we have, Shamika needs to be there. I will be there. Seriously. I will, okay. I will gladly vendor. Yeah. Okay. For real. Okay. It's beautiful. I think Set I might, up everything. Look, when you guys go to edit, I think I just burped, so I'm sorry. Oh, no. We didn't hear it. Okay. Go. I'm like, I, I think I just burped. I burp all the time. 
I'm like, I think it was the, I'm like, I think it just worked. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. You cushion me. <laughs> sorry. I've had my moments. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even my stomach growling, you can hear it. And then Maj will be like, uh. and I'm just like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. That's why she be eating all the popcorn. Be coming she over be here and start her little ass. Be coming here eating all the goddamn popcorn. I understand. Uh, I understand. This popcorn, I gave it a 10. It's great. She did. She gave it a 10. It's, I can eat all the popcorn. You should have gave it an 11. You didn't gave some terrible popcorn 10s. Oh, so he's, gave it a he's trying thing. to say that your rating isn't worthy. He's bad. Yeah. I just love good popcorn. And if I really love the popcorn, I'm going to give it a 10. Mm-hmm. But if I don't really like it, there's something I don't like about it or an aftertaste, I'll give it like, you know, a fair score. Six, seven. Look, you really six sixes <laughs> or seven. It should be like eight, eight and a half, nine. Like, it's disgusting. What are you doing? Whatever. What are you doing? It's disgusting. <laughs> I was just a hater. No, I just like teasing her. I just a hater. (laughs) Um, So, what's next? I mean, you said everything's kind of slowed down. Everything's kind of slowed down. I look. Your guess is just as good as mine. Yeah. Yeah. Really, because we're in uncertainty. Yeah. Yeah. We really are. Um, You know, if September maybe. hmm? I'm hearing September. Hopefully, that's like a a month to end, but we don't know. I I don't know. No, no one knows for sure. I'm just, I'm like, for a certain, um, there has been um, some of the, it's like, and like you said, like being on both sides, right? So the funny thing is, it's like, you know, that whole part of if you're non-union and you want to join and, you know, don't go taking the SAG jobs and stuff yeah. like that. But because I'm kind of like on both, like some of those have come through. Mm. Like audition. And so I did say to my agent, I'm like, I'm not doing them. Yeah. You know, I'm not. And that's when that, that straddling, like, happens because I'm like, oh, I see so the, what they, they're they, talking about. They really try to reach out to you and try to get oh, you Oh, yeah, they go the through job. your agent. You're right. They go through your agent because, you know, I'm not full-blown right, yeah. right. SAG, SAG, right? But yeah. they see that I am eligible there, so they'll... For non-union. Right, yeah. right. So I still can take those jobs. Right. Um. But it's not smart to take those jobs right now because yeah. those because it's like that's why I said the next one that I would take I'll have to be a must join. Mm-hmm. But then if I did that right now with right, everything right. they're going through, they'll kick me out. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get blackballed. Yeah. That's what they right. really put that on. They they made that they, they made, made, made that clear. perfectly clear. Jeez. So yeah, so I'm like where I may have wanted to be like okay yeah I'm ready let me yeah. let's do this. It's like now is not the time. Right. So I'm like, if you got something not, you got some, a non union that is a true non union, mm-hmm. I'll ride my non union wave. Yeah. Right. But I am not riding, and I've gotten an uptick yeah. in my uh, SAG offer jobs mm. when they did come in. So, but when I say like it went dry because I can't take them, that they, they don't count. Right. <laughs> uh. Right. Yeah. Wow. They don't count. Like, I'm, because we can't even, because, like, the whole rules is you can't even do the audition. Yeah. Like, you can't, oh, you can't, can't even do an audition. You can't audition. even do the audition. Yeah. You can't do the audition for potential future mm-hmm. work once Not all right of now. this is said and done. Right you cannot now. do anything. So, you can do a commercial. Mm-hmm. So, now if a, if a sad commercial came through, I can do that. Yeah. And then if I book it, then again, I'm going to be a must join. Mm-hmm. Right. But, no, but the, I'm talking about like TV and film yeah, stuff. Yeah, TV and film stuff. That I can't even do the audition. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. So that brings everything to a screech. Yeah, that's why I'm like, so your your honest answer is your guess is just as good and as mine because we are in the, we're like just in the wind. Yeah. And they'll reach out to you and they'll put in the, you know, the notes. They'll say, if you pass on it, just let us know. Like they're giving you the option. Mm-hmm. They're making it, mm-hmm. you know, known. Like we understand that if you can't take it, mm-hmm. they're wow. starting to do that. Wow. Yeah, I and I had just I had reached out when um, on last Friday when everything was like you know out there and we were it was official. Yeah, I had reached out to my agent and said, please don't even send me anything. Right, you know, I, I'm not <laughs> an op- don't, I'm not an option. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not an option. Deny it right and now. so it was like absolutely shooting. I was like, I just need to state my position. Yeah, you know, so if something comes up, don't even send it. Right, that's crazy. So, right. so yeah, yeah. So, quick question to mm-hmm. that I wanted to ask. Um, this is all acting. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but... Yeah, go. Oh, sorry, Mash. Look, but, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. 
So, like, for your commercial, right, mm-hmm. being represented, do you have to have, like, lifestyle shots also that you have as... You know or what? just your headshot? You can... Commercial, if you got a smiley picture... Then that's good. Your commercial. Yeah. Because with my other agency that I'm represented by, they're like, mm-hmm. well, you, for you to get, you know, you know, union jobs, you need more, like, lifestyle shots. And I have good headshots, but mm-hmm. it's like, that's more money. I think... And it's just like... I think that if you went to a photographer and however it is that the headshots you have, if they are good pictures, you can find a picture within your catalog that you've already paid for that can meet the need of what it is that you're going for, theatrical, commercial. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If, if If you've already paid good money for some. Yes. You one of those pictures, you can make them work for you right. to do whatever it is you needed to do. Right. You don't need to go and get get a whole lifestyle. No, especially if you that. look exactly the same. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, dude, no. <laughs> and, you we know, need a different picture. We need yeah. a different picture, but I, I, I still look like this. Right. Yeah. Like you know, I didn't add a wrinkle. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. Exactly. So okay. Good yeah, to know. yeah. All right. Did you have any? I mean, I'm here. If you have any oh, other, no, I'm gonna questions. call you now. Okay, now you She's like, we're friends. She's like, she's like, <laughs> you guys get nothing else. I'm gonna take this personal. <laughs> selfish. Look, she's just selfish. She's selfish today. I'm Can't just a brat. Go. She's just, <laughs> just, she's just a brat. <laughs> See what I gotta deal with all the time. Last 25 look, weeks. Look, now. <laughs> you you did this on purpose. You did this to yourself on purpose. <laughs> No, all right, so to any. to all the up and coming actors out there, yes. um, what what would be any advice that you would give them? You know, the best advice I would give them would be: don't let social media think make you think this industry is something that it's not. Mm. Yeah. If you're in this for the fame, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Mm. If you think that, you know, it's going to just solve all of your problems because all of a sudden you became a celebrity, it's not. Mm -mm. Whatever it is that you have that you didn't deal with, (laughs) you're still going to have to deal with it just on a bigger scale. And then you might have to deal with it in front of people Mm -hmm. because now you got the attention Mm -hmm. that you wanted. Um, Getting anywhere fast doesn't mean that you did it the best way. You know, you can get there fast. You can get someplace really fast, but you're going to crash even faster. Mm-hmm. You, it, I definitely, the Jennifer uh, Lewis was the first person that I had ever said, ever heard say, um, everyone wants to take the elevator. Nobody wants to take the stairs. Mm-hmm. And that is like that to me, that is more of an accurate statement today. Now with the image of social media mm-hmm. than ever before. Mm-hmm. Because what we, what we would, I don't know what you guys' age group is, but I'm a Gen Xer. Like, okay, so for what, what it is that we grew up in, you know, versus it, it was really more so like neighborhood, local kind of thing. Now everybody sees the world. Yeah. And it, it's influencing them, not necessarily in a good way. It so. scares me for my kids. Yes, yeah. because they don't know anything different, yeah. right? So it's like, I would say, you know, understand that, you're not going to come into this business and be anybody's A-list or nothing. This, it's work. Right. We are working class, check to check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not as fabulous as you, you think. Right, right. Mm-hmm. The red carpet, the mm-hmm. after party, that's your end result. Mm-hmm. That's not your work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you're ever trying to do anything with the intent of just pleasing others, you're never going to be satisfied with yourself. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is that you decide to do, you got to be good with it. You got you to be able to make peace with it. And if you're doing auditions, you don't do auditions with what you think they might want. That would like be one of my biggest things. Mm-hmm. Don't do an audition with what you think they might want. They want to see your interpretation of the character they presented to you. They don't, they're not asking you to read their minds. Mm. So it's like, whether your interpretation works out or not, sometimes it has nothing to do with you. But go in it with your interpretation. Don't go into this business trying to do everything to please people because you're going to find yourself, even if you do climb that ladder, that's the only thing that you do. Right. And you're going to be unhappy. Mm. So I would just say, just be your authentic self. Stay in integrity. Know who you are and hold true to it, even if it means you have to say no. 
Because I said, um, like, earlier in my career, I had an opportunity to do reality TV. Okay. Um, one of the TV shows that I had the opportunity to do was Real, um, Real, what was it? Real what? MTV? MTV Real. Real World. Real World. I had an opportunity to do uh, Real World because I was in Connecticut. So it was right there. It was right in New York and everything. And I just didn't want to. Yeah, that was a while ago. A long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was like, it was like their second season. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, I used to love and I didn't. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I just didn't want to do reality TV. Yeah. Like I had this, had this whole hang up with me that I really needed to, and I still do. So it's been strong with me. See, integrity. I know who you are. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to be respected as an actor. Mm. Like, period. That's the whole sentence. I want to yeah. be respected as an actor. I don't want to be a reality TV star. Mm-hmm. Because it takes on it takes on different levels of respect in oh, yeah. the business. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it does. Um, and it's like, but I know that I am. I know that the talents that I have to offer is better than what they just want to give. Like you would make um, at the time, the mm-hmm. offer was um, it was like fifteen hundred dollars a week mm-hmm. to do it. And it was going to, and I was like doing the math and I was like, I forget for how many weeks, but I mean, it was going to be like $1,500 a week to do like reality TV. Mm-hmm. And a friend that I had had at the time, she was like, you know, you should do it. I'm like, I, it doesn't set with me. Right. And it's like, if something sets with you, if that's your thing, then do it. Right, right. But, be true to yourself. Right. Be yeah. true to yourself. But that's mm-hmm. like an example of like, sometimes you just got to say no. And I'm like, mm. Yeah. Mm. so it's like, you know, that's an example of me saying no. Um, another example of me saying no is like things that I would get auditions for or things that I would, they would, you know, just want to hire me for with not, not me even auditioning. I would have to be like the drug dealer's girlfriend, mm. you know, cause I'm younger now. Right, right? Right. So I had to be the drug dealer's mm. girlfriend or I was something along the lines of a prostitute that had no story hierarchy. Like, you know, she was just, she was just the hoe on the show. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, okay, is she going to recover or she's just the whole? Yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. So it's like, recover. <laughs> is she gonna? No, this is it. This is life. No, and rehab, then, no, no nothing. Nothing. Just... nothing. I'm just the hoe on the show. Okay. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> oh my God. And you know, and so it's like, and stuff like that definitely made it, um, made my journey longer. Mm. It definitely pushed my career farther you know out it definitely delayed my eligibility on being you know union eligible like it Mm. it pushed all that it did but I was like my I do when I take jobs it's the thing that I say to myself is would I be proud to tell my father Mm -hmm. Mm. that's what I think about too because I have yeah brothers yeah yeah so I'm very picky with what I choose yes so I'm like whatever it is that I do I need to be proud to tell my father if I'm proud to tell my father it's in Mm-hmm. Right. And so like I already told my dad, I'm like, dad, I'm good with love scenes. Yeah. But that's something that I've already told my father. Right. I'm like, you ain't got to watch it, but I'm just letting you know I'm good with it. Mm-hmm. But if it's something like like that, and I'm like, that doesn't feel like I'm progressing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it feels like that I am feeding a negative Message. narrative yeah. of who we are. I don't like stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I won't take it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that definitely, that Im- impacted a lot as far as I truly do believe because talent, no issue. I'm good, baby. Yeah. Okay. So it's not a, it's not an issue of talent. I know it's an issue of choice. And it's like, it's something that is worth it to me because yeah. I feel like I know that when I finally do get to where it is that I feel mm-hmm. I'm good, I did it my way. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I'll make peace with that. Yeah. And I don't have in those are the things that you don't have to go in interviews and then feel sorry for right. and like stuff like that. And like uh, lastly, like one of the things that I always wanted to make sure that was clear was that I wasn't seen as one type of person mm-hmm. because, you know, the, that's why I said I tell people I'm like, yes, yeah, Shamika, she's smiley. She happy and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, no, I'm like, but a bitch can get rough. Right. <laughs> Don't fucking come over here. (laughs) I'll be like, oh, you want to do this? Say less. (laughs) Don't fucking come over. Don't fucking come over here. Okay. (laughs) So it'd be like that. I'm like, I'm telling you. I'm like, don't get. I don't. So that's the reason why. Like, if you ever see like anything on my social media and stuff like that, like I show all of me. I'm like, I will show you without my wig in the gym sweating because that's me. Yeah. I will show you when I'm up and pretty. I will show me in the thong on the beach. Why? Because I like my cheeks out. Like, I'm going to show me. And to me, it's like that's one of those things that then when people when people make it because they were so busy trying to keep, like, just 
having people just know this one little version of them that when they start showing different sides of their personality, yeah. now they're making all these excuses to the world because everybody's like, you change. Right. When no, they didn't change. That's they just they've didn't. Always been. That's who they always were, but they were afraid to show it. So I'd be like, nope, cheeks <laughs> out, I cuss. Man, I, I, I am all for cheap I, out. I'm, so. I'm like, I'm like, I'm all that stuff. I'm yeah, all of it. Yeah. I'm like the accent come in and out. Sometimes I'm a little proper. Sometimes the fuck I'm not. It's like it's like <laughs> all of it. It's like it's one of those things where yeah. I just want people. I want people to understand that I'm not coming in this trying to be anything other than myself. Right. So like, if you gonna rock with me, then rock with me. And just know, it's not going to be one of those, oh, she changed. No, I want you to be able to say, no, she's always like that. She yeah. cool. She yeah. she being exactly who she is. Right, right. So be yourself. Mm. I, I rock with Shanika, right? I love I, You know, where is that? Where is that? Okay. I rock rocks, with rocks with me. Uh, Shamika, if yes. the people want to follow you um, on social media, where can they find you? You can find me. Um, I primarily am on Instagram. I'm like I'm kind of addicted to Instagram, so <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I be trying to let go, but it's like it got me. It yeah. got me. So. Oh wait, and quickly, you got to do more of your uh, workout videos I, with your dancing. Your oh, like I, you know, and I be at the gym. Those, you know, that's my those cele- are my favorite. That's my celebratory. <laughs> that's my celebratory dance like so at the end of every workout i dance you do that to congratulate myself for finishing a workout i love so. your workout dance yeah celebrate all wins I, I celebrate all, i don't care how sweaty or how small you gotta tag me in all of them because i want to see them every i'll be day. like you gonna get this okay so you can find me on instagram like i said i'm addicted so i am shamika do not put an a in my name God, please. Yeah, S-H-E-M-E-K-A underscore right W-R-I-G-H-T. I am consistent across all platforms. So if you write that, you will find me everywhere. TikTok, Twitter, um, threads now, right? Threads, Instagram. <laughs> and you can actually Google me. You can just put Shamika Wright, S-H-E-M-E-K-A, W-R-I-G-H-T, and I will pop up everything about me. Mm. That, that that's how dope I am. Like, I am at top of search. Top tier. Y'all better stop playing with me. <laughs> the one and only Shamika Wright. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate thank you guys you. having thank me. You. Like, this interview was so much fun. Thank you. Thank nah, you. This thank is super you. dope. It super was. dope. Thank you. Yeah. Um, follow her. She's uh, she's thank full you. of life, and, and I love it. I appreciate yes. it. Um, the Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. We'll be opening up for submissions August 15th. Um, We're doing something different this year. Uh, We're going to have categories for features and categories specifically for shorts as well. So make sure that you have your stuff ready August 15th to submit. Um, Next year, April 24th through the 28th, we will be in downtown L.A. And we hope to see all you guys there. If you are listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or watching us on YouTube, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, let those algorithms know that this is the type of content you want to continue seeing. Follow us on Instagram at Beyond Take Two. Uh, We appreciate Ms. Shamika Wright for celebrating episode 25 with us. Um, Another milestone for us. We're not celebrating again until episode 50, so we got to get this one. We didn't celebrate 10, 20, and 25. We're doing too much celebrating. So we don't celebrate. No such thing. No such thing. We don't celebrate at episode 50. Uh, but this is the Beyond Take Two podcast brought to you by Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. I'm your host, Mads. And I'm your host, Veronica. And we just completed episode 25 with mm-hmm. the great Shamika Wright. Yes. Uh, we will see you guys next week. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Peace. Peace. Bye. <laughs> beyond Take Two. Take a walk beyond Hollywood. Beyond the lights, camera, action. Is the hard work and passion Beyond Take Two Take a walk beyond Hollywood Beyond the lights, camera, action Is the hard work and passion